Hi and welcome back guys to iTechnology Reviews. We're gonna show you today a nice field monitor from Fieldworld which um, is, can be used with your DSLR or your video camera. It's a good quality uh, monitor. We, we use the model if FW759. This monitor is 720p monitor. So it's a HD monitor, a really HD monitor, um, which has the, a great quality of the picture. But it has a small disadvantage. We will talk and I will show you the specification and I will tell you what it suits you for uh, your business. So let's do a little bit of unboxing. The box looks like this. Okay, this is the monitor. I assemble it a little, just a little bit and I put this sunscreen on it. The monitor did came with the sun hood. Okay, it come with a screen protector. I remove the screen protector because I don't like any protective uh, screen cover. It um, it's not the picture is not clearly shown with the screen. The producers give us a HDMI cable for the SLRs. So it has a mini HDMI with a normal HDMI. The multifunction portable okay, instruction guide. A HDMI lock. It's something uh, used for this cable to lock it on your DSLR to avoid being, being ejected by uh, accident. And you have a Nimbus point, okay. The sound hood came. Let, let's put it. the sound hood came with a strap like this. You have to put the strap here. And this plastic, I will not take it off, but because I uh, put it very hard on it. Let's see like this okay so it's a swell monitor uh, the producer give us an NF for a Sony battery adapter so this uh, you can put the Sony in here and you don't have problems with wires or anything else you can upgrade the, the film monitor you can upgrade it let's see if I can show you here you can upgrade it on this this USB mini port. Here you have USB controller. We can you can control this monitor. Uh, headphones jack, and this is an AV audio video in. Uh, personally, I recommend to use HDMI cable because HDMI gives us the HD quality, and you can uh, power it up with 12 volts DC. Okay, I want to tell you uh, that this field monitor is incredible. We have uh, a, lot of a lot of monitors, we have even from Wundland monitors and uh, this monitor consumes less power. We filmed, I think, uh, somewhere in between 4 and 5 hours of continuous filming and the battery uh, an NF from uh, Sony in uh, 4800 uh, amps they didn't let us uh, the, the monitor didn't let us down so we use it a lot um, in the specification of this monitor we have a 16 by 10 a spect ratio and here it's a little problem because the spect ratio will uh, will generate two black lines here and the first firmware of the producer did enlarge the people the people are were more enlarged correct size of the subjects was not uh, was not very good so uh, in the corrected firmware the 1.8 the producer made 6 by 9 spec ratio but it adds uh, two black stripes 
it's not a very good idea. So we'll see if the producer will develop a more good firmware. It has a wide angle EPS panel so you can view it from any angle. So we brought a video camera for you to see uh, well, how is the quality of the, this monitor. And let's see, we will zoom it. Now we have a battery, okay, in front of you a battery and there is a tripod and let's okay, let's see the green aperture okay so let's focalize between objects and you will see in this film monitor that you will have let's see I have to see what I'm doing a uh, functions you can you can program the F1 the F2 F3 F4 functions and in mode you you can select the hdmi and uh, the av okay and now in the functions first function is check field you can check the field of this okay let's see like this black and white mode okay and off in the function 2 this is the most important focus assist so you can see now that our focus is seen on the tripod and not on the battery focus assistant will help us so let's focalize on the object with the red lines the red lines will help us to bring the focus the objects okay now the, our object is in focus mode another functions are these guidelines in the center and uh, you can use the safety the safety frame the safety frame you can use it for a distance in the menu in user mode you have the colors you have the tent the saturation sharpness we calibrated the, the film monitor just to be for our needs the brightness okay in the second part uh, you have the language the aspect ratio we set it to 6 by 9 okay the blue screen also the uh, transparent mode this uh, screen will be transparent uh, from the value that you give so this is a good feature we will give it to 48p 4080p and then to 80p 1080p e okay in 1080p is something interesting for this monitor it will uh, the image will be a whole on the whole monitor and you will not see those two black stripes uh, i don't know this uh, the, the producer has to, to make this function available for the 60, 60 by 9 aspect ratio. In the 60 by 9 you will see at the beginning of this video, if you saw the two stripes in the top and the bottom of the screen. So that is not right, that is wrong. So we hope the, the producer will make a better firmware. The volume, you can control the volume of the monitor, you can give volume for your headphones yeah you can hear it it has an external uh, speaker for you to I don't know to use for sounds or anything uh, for example if you, if you have the camera installed on a big crane and this will help you in HDMI to use or in phones or in the speaker okay the monitor has another interesting functions let's see You can upgrade the USB here, you can upgrade it, uh, you can put another new firmware launched by the producer uh, and uh, upgrade uh, your monitor to a better firmware. Here you can center marker, you can put those functions or you can select from this menu. Freeze frame or save, uh, save the frame, okay, image flip according to your position of the monitor 
the check of the field I showed you in the shortcut of the buttons okay in the photo focus assist and then you'll have in here the F buttons which, which you can uh, select it okay in the other specification uh, this is a slim design is a 70 millimeter portable light convertible uh, you can use it even on a steady cam and not only on the celery so it's very light if you use a big battery like this one it will not help you because the batteries are very heavy the NPF 970 for example is very 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 heavy the inputs are video audio and HDMI the outputs uh, wire remote you can use an OSD controller you have uh, I told you the built-in speakers the fill 3.5 millimeter audio you can use the HDMI mode in uh, 1080e at 60 frames per second 50 frames per second uh, you can use in uh, 7 to 20p in uh, 60 uh, 50 30 uh, 24 film aspect uh, look uh, frames per second and uh, 23.98 frames per second also the film look frames per second you have the picking focus assistant this is very important for DSLRs to show you where you focalize uh, your subject which subject is focalized the screen marker is very good for the safety zone if you use the safety zone on top of your head it's very good to put it where you want on 80% 85 19 I don't know uh, whatever it, you will use you can select 4.3 and 16 by 9 image adjustable um, ratio the monitor will work at 7.4 volts to 35 volts I don't know how but the producer says uh, this thing in this specification and we will consume a low power of uh, below 5 watts and the total weight of the monitor is 400 grams below below a half of kilo so it's a light monitor it's a good quality picture and as a tip please use really uh, fan really slim HDMI because when you use it on, a, on something uh, I don't know in a camera or on a crane you will not get cable problems and this slim fit will, it will help you very very well so this is the review for Feel World the 720p monitor if you have question and we can help you please ask us on the comments below and we will answer every time we promise to answer every every one of you so if you have problems please uh, ask us if you like the video uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives this is i technology reviews see you next time guys bye